Welcome back to Amazing Kitchen. Today we'll be making something Italian, something very classic called Capri Salad that probably most of you uh, know already. It involves some tomato and mozzarella as well as uh, basil and it's a very simple dish but so tasty. It's all about the ingredients but today I'll put my twist on it. I'll make it uh, a little spicy and I'll add a little touch of uh, other ingredients to make it a little bit better the way I like it. Okay let's start. So what we have today we have some tomatoes ripened on the vine and we'll cut these up and have these uh, put together with the mozzarella. We have a nice beautiful piece of mozzarella that we will cut up and I have a chili pepper. So we'll scrape out the seed and we'll use this because we don't want it very hot but just to add a little spice, a little touch of flavor to this. And of course our beautiful basil. Oh, look at these. I love the flavor of these. Okay, now let's start this dish by cutting up our tomatoes. So we have two tomatoes. We get our paring knife. We go to the center and we try to remove this center piece that we do not need. That's it. It's all out and done. So we'll do it to the second one. Very simple. A small paring knife will do the job just nicely. Great. So that's out of the way. Now we can cut these up. Nice. We get some nice even cuts out of this. I can see the tomato is so nice and juicy. This will be very nice with our dish today. So let's continue. Let's cut the other one. Great. So this is all cut and laid out. Now we will place this back on the plate. And we'll lay it on our dish shortly. Great. Now we have the cheese right here. Uh, we like some even cuts, so I'll remove the edges. Now, for these, we just uh, slice them up thinly, but not too thin. Okay, a good maybe quarter inch thickness will do. Great. Now this is all cut. Let's put this back on the plate and we'll cut our chili. So we just split the chili in half, expose the seeds and we scrape the seeds away and we just keep the, the red skin for beauty. So make sure when you scrape this, you get the seed and the membrane that's attached to it or else you will get too much heat in this dish, which we don't want. Great. So that's clean. Now we just give this a, a small dice. Great, it's all cut now. So I'll get myself a bowl. Then we'll add this to the bowl. So I decided to use a nice round white plate and we just layer it. We got one slice of tomato with one slice of mozzarella, just like that. And then we just layer it, layer by layer, in circle. And the final touch, we tuck this in to the bottom. Great. So now this is done. Now let's make our dressing for this. Let's remove this, get this out of the way. Okay, so classic dressing would be just to drizzle some extra virgin olive oil over the top, sprinkle some salt and some black pepper, and that's all we need. But today we're making something a little different. So what we will do, 
Uh, earlier we chopped a nice chili. We removed the seed to cut down the heat into this bowl. Then we will get a, a couple leaf of basil. Okay, we'll roll this up. Then we will give these a nice fine chop. Great. Mm. The aroma is beautiful. So we add this to the dressing. Then we can add some balsamic vinaigrette to this. Not too much. And some extra virgin olive oil. Great. And what we do, we just give this, we crush this and mix this together well. So we help the chili infuse its flavor with the basil and olive oil. Then we sprinkle this over our salad. Now before we start, if you have some extra basil, we just slip a couple of these between the tomatoes. Look at the green, the red, and the white. Just like the Italian flag. Awesome. So we have some basil in already. We will sprinkle some salt over the top. Nice. Freshly grounded for nice aroma. And this dressing. Mm, it's perfect. Then we just drizzle it over the top, anyhow you like. Just randomly with the extra basil. Ah, oh, this is so nice. I'm so anxious to try this. So tasty. A mm, couple more. Drizzle. All right, we're done. And we have one more ingredient. Prosciutto. Yes, we have beautiful prosciutto uh, to go with this dish. This is so beautiful. We add this to the center of this whole dish and this will add ah, even more flavor and taste to this salad. Great. Look at that. We save these for later. Okay, now that we're back with some toasted bread to go with this, now let's see. We have a fresh garlic. We rub it on the top to add that uh, flavor to it. We can get our plate aside. Let me get myself a nice piece with the tomato and basil. Let's get some more of that tomato. Now let's try this. Need to try with some tomato and some basil. And this will add some nice flavor to this. Mmm. Mmm. It's so light, yet it's balanced. Oh, the crunch of this bread. And the flavor from the garlic is just amazing. Mmm. Now if you like, you can layer this on your bread and just have it so. Ah, look at this. Look at this. This is so beautiful. Mm. Aroma from the basil. And the smooth texture of the mozzarella is so nice. And the chili add a little kick to it. If you don't like the chili, you can leave that out, but mm, I like my stuff hot. Mm. This is so good. This is awesome. Mm. I know you shouldn't be talking about mouthful, but this is just so tasty. We have to try our bruschetta, our, our prosciutto also. Now the prosciutto, 
with a last bit of tomato and mozzarella. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. The meat. The lightness of the prosciutto. Oh, just balances everything. And the bread just cleans your palate and starts all over again. Great. If you like what you see today, remember to subscribe, hit the amazing kitchen button, and until next time, we'll see you again. Bye now.